What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Mike Avelli, and I'm back with another reaction video, man. I know you guys love Side Guru. I'm in love with the dude after just a couple videos that I reacted to him because it seems like he has the blueprint on how to be positive, live a healthy lifestyle, and all of that, man. So today, 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 we got the power of being alone. So without further ado, man, let's get it. He said, it's better to walk alone than to walk with a fool. Before, yeah, because you guys kind of heard a little bit of that. But before this video even gets started, I'm going to let you guys know something, man. When I was in school, I had to learn the hard way that being around, hanging around crowds was not the best way to go, man. I'm just speaking from experience, you guys. Like, there's been times where I've gotten in trouble, like... You know with the police because of me being around crowds me wanting to fit in with the crowd you know so i have to learn the hard way man i'll never forget it like it was my freshman year in high school and i had to learn that hard lesson right there you know and it was simply because you know like the high school it was so big and these particular people that i hung out with i knew them from middle school but you know, they had gotten some stuff along the way once they got to high school, which I didn't know of. And then, you know, I just kind of, I just kind of gotten in the crosshairs of their situation at that time. You know what I mean? So I kind of messed up my life just a little bit. But, you know, <laughs> the power of being alone is serious, man. Like, you'll be surprised of how much better you are mentally being alone. Like, being alone, like, you feel like when you're alone that you don't need anybody else you don't need a group of people like even when i was in high school like you guys know this slang right you guys know the slang of oh yeah we about to mob to the mall we about to mob to the nah you will never hear me say that ever ever bro and i think even after that particular situation i'm telling you guys about where i got in trouble with the police um me and my friends uh after that I know I'm kind of rambling, bro, but after that, um, yeah, I only hung around like two, three friends after that situation. It was never anything more than that. Like, anything more than that, I was not in it, bro. I was not trying to be in it. So after that particular situation, I made sure my circle was very small. That taught me a lot right there, bro. My circle has to be small. People around me can't be in the no no negative stuff and you know that's just what it is you know if you want consciously you can evolve in this evening there is no limit as to how a human being can become this is something that every human being must do then coming together will be hugely rewarding When Gautama, the Buddha was asked, is it better to walk alone or in company? He said, it's better to walk alone than to walk with a fool. Well... Or a bunch of fools for that matter. That's him, not me. He was quite sure that only a fool will walk with you. <laughs> so he said, it's better to walk alone than to walk with a fool. Certain lore in this country says, when you want to do a short and quick journey, walk alone. When you want to do a long journey, walk in company. But the important thing is, who is walking with you? Not always being together is a good thing. Many times, being together can be a nuisance. <laughs> so, <clears throat> first and foremost, unless you are a twin, even then, we come along and we go along. If one does not know how to be by himself or herself, 
then being together can be a lot of nuisance. We are referred to as human beings. Human beings means every other creature is what it is simply because of what it does. But a human being can simply be, which is a unique quality of the human being, that we can simply be, that we are not compulsive action, that's what it means. Our action is conscious and judicious. But generally, when people get together, generally, people are in compulsive action. It can be an association where there could be a purposeful action, or it can be a gang where there can be more purposeful action, or it can be a crowd which can be a compulsive action. So essentially, to be human means we have reached that point of evolution within ourselves that if we wish, we can simply sit here, just be. We can consider as to what action to take and what not to take. This is definitely individual. When individuals come together, we say, it's we in… in plural, but still, it is individuals who have to come together. To be an individual means you are not further divisible. That means you are just one. People find different ways to divide themselves within themselves. In India, with eighteen thousand years of cultural history, we have invented various words to divide ourselves. It's very common for people to talk in terms of atma, paramatma, ankara, this one and that one. But every… every culture has this in their own way. When things are going right, when good things are being done, if you ask people, they say, yes, I did it. When things don't go right, when things go wrong, then they will try to find somebody if they don't find anybody. He is always there <laughs> When they are very wonderful, of course they take pride in being how wonderful they are. When they turn nasty, they say, it was my ego. Mr. Ego is always a fall guy. So individual means, but if I'm wonderful, it's me. If I'm nasty, it's me, all of you. Are you twenty-four hours wonderful? Hello? Are you twenty-four hours wonderful? No, no, sometimes wonderful, sometimes nasty, sometimes beautiful, sometimes ugly. <laughs> it's okay. If we understand it is me who is capable of being absolutely wonderful and it is me who is capable of being absolutely nasty another moment, then gradually the number of moments of nastiness will keep on receding. If I see what is wonderful is me, what is nasty is… In India we have many words, it's my karma, what can I do? <clears throat> No, you must fix this. Being an individual is very important, that means you're not further divisible. If I'm wonderful, it's me. If I'm nasty, it's me. If I succeed, it's me. If I fail, it's me. You have to fix this. I'm just asking you a simple question. Within this, how many people? Hello? How many people within you? One, two? Only one. If you're one, you're normal human being. If you're more than one, you're either schizophrenic <laughs> or you're possessed. You either need a, need a psychiatrist or a exorcist. 
but you will see whenever things don't go right, another guy will pop up from somewhere. <laughs> so, becoming an individual means you killed all those pop-ups and just said, this is me. This what is me has many dimensions. If I don't see this is an individual, I cannot divide this further, then transformation will not happen. If transformation does not happen, if people come together in that state, there will be more mess than solutions. All creatures hang out together, whether it is various wild creatures, most of them hang out together. Even monkeys who are just one step behind us, they are also in bunches. It is only human being who can sit alone and transform himself or herself because this is the prerogative of being human that we can simply be. This is why you are called human being, you are capable of being. You are not in a compulsive state of activity. If you want, consciously you can evolve. In this evening you can evolve if you are willing. It doesn't take a million years because our evolution is not biological anymore, our evolution is conscious. For every other creature, it is fixed. Nature has fixed two lines within which every other creature lives and goes. But once you have come as a human being, there is only bottom line, there is no top line. There is no limit as to how a human being can become. So before we associate ourselves with people, it'll be good every day in the morning or a certain period of your life, if one withdraws to spend a little time with oneself and see how, in what ways, can this be little better than the way it was yesterday, this life? How it can be a little better life than what it was yesterday? Because most people are coming together for their needs. To fulfill needs, people come together. Some people come together to fulfill a purpose or a cause. Some people come together to eat, drink, and be together because they cannot be alone. This is something that every human being must do. A certain period of time, you do one thing, just twenty-four hours, take a break from everything, not today, right now you're among people. You take a break sometime, just twenty-four hours, and don't read, don't watch television, don't use a phone. Simply sit in your room, alert not sleeping. And if you watch the nature of your mind, you yourself will certify this is a madman. Because for most people their mind cannot stay on any one thing. Unless they're in activity, simply they cannot be here. In compulsive state of psychological activity is on. When you are like this, you cannot be, that means you cannot be a human being. Being has to happen, only then togetherness will be very rich. If you know how to be by yourself, then coming together will be hugely rewarding and of tremendous value. That means we came together consciously.
um if you guys like this video man which i'm sure a few of you guys do and will um give it a fat thumbs up like comment share machiavelli gang we up out of here i'm kind of mad right now because my computer's about to die which means i can't even do no reaction video of oh, 28 percent my stuff is dying pretty fast but machiavelli gang we up out of here i love you guys you guys have a blessed one and a safe one and i'm gonna catch you guys on the next one man peace